How you doing, Coach Jones? You're good. Pleasure to have you back on the show. Yeah. So tomorrow's Veterans Day, and uh, we know that you were a member of the military, and um, we just wanted to to take this interview and and thank you for your service and what you've done. Um, so just a quick question about that: How long did you serve? Uh, uh, Twenty-one years in the Air National Guard, and I guess uh, in 2003 was in Iraq, and then in 2010 went to Afghanistan. So I guess I'd be a veteran of both of those conflicts. Well, we appreciate what you've done for for yeah. us. So now for uh, football, back on football. So uh, how did you feel last week going into that game, knowing that there was going to be all that those the bad weather coming in? Yeah, no, you know, knowing the weather was coming in, uh, we we. We we moved the game up to five thirty. Yeah, and and I told the kids, I said, guys, we don't know when this game is going to end. We don't know if we'll get to finish it. We just have to make sure we're ahead when they get ready to call the game. Uh, by rule, it has to be at least a half, and so we knew we had to at least play till halftime. And then, of course, you know, there's with a fifteen twenty minute uh, break there at halftime. We wanted to make sure that we were ahead at halftime. Man, I was I was not having fun at that game with with all that that rain because with the band we had to get out of there. Right. Yeah, yeah. we we couldn't stay very long. Yeah, the wind. Uh, I guess in the second half the wind went crazy and and the storms came in and we we got off the field uh, just in time. And you know, twenty minutes later, there's there's uh, severe thunderstorms and yeah, tornadoes. Tornadoes too. in the area. Yeah, yeah. it's bad. <laughs> but I mean, it was it was a good game. I mean, we had a really good game. Um, so with CAC, were you expecting a challenge, or were you expecting to just just take an easy win for the team? Well, I expected to win, yeah. but I, I expect to win most of the time. Well, uh, but I knew CAC would create challenges for the defense. Uh, they're very good offensively. You know, some of the things they do. Where their passing game and the running game mix is 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 pretty tough, and you know they they have a tenth grade quarterback that's that's already getting college offers, so yeah, their offense is pretty good. Yeah, sounds and like it. So I knew that was going to be a challenge coming in. I felt like that we'd be able to score against them. Uh, their defense has had trouble stopping people most of the year, and so it was a good matchup for our offense, and it was going to be a tough one for the defense. Yeah. So it. It played out just about, you know, kind of the way we thought it might. Well, what was the – I can't remember. What was the final score for the game? Uh, 59 to 28 or something like that. Does that sound right? Mm, yeah, I think so. I think that's about right. Yeah, it was a great game. Yeah, the defense did they, – they forced three turnovers in the game. Yeah. It really made the difference. Uh, we scored 21 points on those three turnovers and uh, – that's what you need is the defense to give you a chance to, to go down and, and finish the game. Right. So with the game against Riverview, um, what what are you kind of expecting from their team? Well, uh, Riverview hasn't really had a lot of success this year, but, they, they you know, they've played some tough teams, and uh, yeah, they have athletes, which is – which. You know, playoff time, things things can get a little strange. The team has athletes, and they decide they really want to play hard, then it becomes difficult. Uh, I feel like that, you know, we'll come out and, and do what we do, run the football, and, uh, you know, move the ball up and down the field. And I feel like our defense has a lot better matchup this week that should be able to, you know, stop them. All right. <laughs> next question. So, do you think the matchups for the next game right. are going to be good? Yeah. Well, you know, their defense might be a little better than CAC's. And so, it, it will be a, a little bit more challenge uh, with offensively. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, you know, as far as our defense, I think that we match up pretty well with them with what they're trying to do uh, on offense. Right. Uh, you know, got a couple of guys out this week that might be uh, create a few problems, 
Uh, we're going to have a ninth grader on snapping the ball on PATs and punt, and we're going to have a ninth grader starting at defensive end. And so uh, I guess the future's bright <laughs> when you have those young guys, but uh, when you have some guys out, then, then you need them to step up and plug a hole. Right. Well, it's a good thing that uh, you guys decided to bring the, the ninth graders up into the, the senior yep. high football so that, you know, in case, you know, for that specific situation. Sure. It creates a lot of depth. Yeah. You know, we have nine seniors and we moved up 22 ninth graders. Oh, wow. And so, uh, you know, just the sheer size of the team grew a lot. Yeah. And uh, they, they've done a good job. They've created a lot of depth in practice and uh, give some guys some breaks in practice that, that, that we really needed. Right. So last question, uh, do you think that Riverview has at all prepared for, like, our specific play style? Yeah, I'm sure they have. I mean, you know, they know that we run the ball right at people. Yeah. And so every single week we get a defense that, that we've never seen before on film. And so we don't necessarily – I mean, of course, we game plan for what we think they're going to do. But then they show up and do something completely different. And so you just have to prepare to go against whatever they decide to do. And so, you know, work on our technique fundamentals of block down, kick, back, kick out, and hit the hole, and, and let's go. All right. Well, thank you, Coach Jones. It was a pleasure having you on the show again. And uh, once again, thank you for your service. You bet. Thank you. Appreciate it.